Hey everybody, welcome to episode 12 of Wednesday Worship. This week I wanted to take a look back at this past Sunday as we were able to regather for the first time. There was a lot of energy in the room, but also there was a moment where we sang Waymaker and Reckless Love and we had some scripture surrounding both of those songs. It's important to concentrate on the fact that God is a waymaker for everyone who's lost and that his reckless love pursues every single person. And right now with everything going on in our country, it's important to know and remember and concentrate on the fact that God's love is for everyone. So today, as we, as we look back at this past Sunday and at these two songs, God's love is for every single person, no matter what race they are, what color they are, where they live, what language they speak, because that's a glimpse of what heaven is going to look like. Every single person who confesses that Jesus is Christ is going to be there and we might as well start now by loving others as Jesus loves them. So enjoy today's episode as we look back at these, these powerful moments from Sunday where God is our waymaker and his reckless love is for everyone. Enjoy. Amen. In Romans 12, 1 through 2. It says, so here's what I want you to do. God help me. Take your everyday, ordinary life. You're sleeping, you're eating, you're going to work and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing that you can do for him. So don't become so well-adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the cultural around you, they're always dragging you down to its level of immaturity. God brings the best out of you, and he develops well-formed maturity inside of you. God is our way maker. God is the one who provides a way for every single one of us. And when we follow him, when we follow that way maker, we know that we are walking in well-formed, perfect love. Turning lives around 
And in 1 John 4, 17 through 19, it says that God is love. When we take up permanent residence in a life of love, when we live in God and God lives in us, this way love has the run of the house. It becomes at home and mature in us so that we're free of worry on judgment day. Our standing in the world is identical with Christ's. And there is no room in love for fear because well-formed love 
banishes fear. And since fear is crippling, a fearful life, one fear of death, fear of judgment, is the one that's not yet fully formed in love. We, though, when we concentrate on who Christ is, we're going to love. We're going to love and be loved because first we were loved by Christ when he went to the cross, and now we are loved. He loved us first. And I love the fact that he loved us first because he met me as an angry 14-year-old. I was angry. And even after he met me, I was still dealing with anger, addiction, anxiety, all of these things that were holding me back. But God's reckless love pursued me over and over and over again. And I was able to beat back every single one of those things that I struggled with. But I constantly have to come to him. Because there are times when I get angry, especially when I'm driving. There are times when I get anxious, especially the last three months. There are times when temptation wants to draw me back into that addiction. But I rely on the love that God has for me. And that love is for every single person in this room, no matter what you're going through, what you have experienced, for every single person watching online, no matter what you have experienced or what you have done, God's love can overcome any of it, any of it. And you are not slave to that. His love is for every person of every color, of every tribe, of every language, from every place in this United States, from every place in this world that we live in. Every single person has free access to the love of God because of what Christ has done for us. And it is a reckless love in our eyes because we cannot imagine someone sending their son to die so that the world could live again. But that's what God did. He pursues each and every one of us. And so that's what we sing about in this time. This last song that we sing this morning, let's sing it out with everything that we have. If you know Christ, you know that you have been set free from sin. And there is no reason to hold back today. Whether you're live in person today or whether you're on the live stream, sing out. Give God everything that you have because there's no reason not to. If you don't think you can sing, it's okay. God loves to hear you give him praise. It's okay. Sing out. Sing loud so that God can get the glory that he deserves. Let's continue our worship today. Still you give yourself 
And you won't climb up coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, a lie you won't tear down coming after me. No, no. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, a lie you won't tear down coming after me. Go ahead and give a shout. Let him hear you in the parking lot. Let him hear you at the lighthouse. Come on!